Hello friends, welcome again to the Explorian and I am Didi here with a new poster illustration and this time we will be designing a simple and minimal typographic poster. For those who are new to my channel, here I make and help you learn designing in Photoshop, discuss various tools and tips and tricks in Photoshop, which can be very helpful to you in becoming a better graphic designer. So without wasting any more time, let's get to work. Let's start by opening our new document and selecting our canvas which will be poster A4 size. If you want you can choose any other size of your requirement. Ok this time we will be using an image for the background uh, which will be having some texture in it. For that I have downloaded the image from pixabay.com. I will be leaving the link in the description so that if you want and if you like it you, will, you can use it in your project also. So let's start by aligning the project uh, aligning the image with our canvas for that we will be rotating it holding the shift key and the cursor turns just rotate and now we will be resizing it for resizing hold down the alt or option key on your keyboard and drag it from the border it will increase in size with the middle point stick to a stick in the center so we can align it very easily and now let's add a levels adjustment layer with the slider to achieve your desired result. The levels adjustment layer is basically brightness and contrast control. So when you are okay, you just click on outside of the canvas and if you want you can clip it to the layer also. Let's just rename the layer as background and we can also lock it so that it doesn't move. As it is a typographic poster, so we will straight away move to our text tool and bring in the text, type whatever you want, go to move tool, increase the font size from here and also you can drag it from here. For today's poster, I will be changing the font and we will be using a font called 6 caps. It is available in Google fonts, if you want you can go and download it. First of all, let's change the color. We'll be turning it to black. Oh, not that dark, just a little bit of grayishness in it. And then you can adjust the spacing between the characters. And now we will be creating some effect to this text layer. For that, we have to convert it to a shape layer. So for doing that, you just go and right click on the layer and come to convert it to shape like this now what we'll do is we will select our path selection tool or direct selection tool here we'll find two selection tools that is path selection tool and direct selection tool we will be selecting direct selection tool and now we'll be selecting some of the points over here and then hold the shift key and drag it down now we'll be adding a shadow like effect with this text layer and for doing that what we'll do is we will copy this layer make a duplicate of it by pressing command J control or command J on your keyboard and then we'll press command T go to transform tool and right click and then we will flip vertical like this then holding the shift key we will drag it down to place it just like that and once again we will right click on the layer and click on perspective and now what we will do is we will hold on to this icon and drag it like that and this will give it a very nice 3d effect now we will change this into a smart object and now we will be adding some effects so right click on the layer oh, before that let's just rename it as idea shadow now select the idea shadow layer and right click on it go to blending options and now we will give it a gradient overlay effect like this and now we can play with the slider like here we have the scale the angle is okay 90 degrees if you want you can change it also you can also drag it like that and do it manually
I think you got the idea when you are satisfied hit ok and now it is giving it a very nice effect now we'll be adding that will replicate like a light source kind of a thing for doing that we will uh, select the ellipse tool and holding down the shift key just draw an ellipse go to move tool bring it to the center let's change the color to yellow and strokes to none and now we'll be again converting it to a smart object then we'll go to filter blur and gaussian blur now we'll play with the slider let's place it behind the idea text layer and now we can also adjust the opacity i think it is okay for now for this shadow let's add some noise to it so that it gives a natural look so for adding a noise go to once again go to the filter then noise add noise now you can play with the slider just a little bit of noise it doesn't require too much of it this is basically just a refinement this is okay for now now we'll be adding a subject a small subject over here for doing that uh, let's bring our image and now we will be uh, doing our background removal process which i will be skipping for the sake of this video because otherwise the video will be much longer uh, if you want to mm, learn more about background removal process you can check out my other videos i have made a dedicated video on background removal i will leave the link in the description also and it will be appearing somewhere at the top in the i button you can click and go there and see the background removal process now our background cutout is ready and on this we'll be giving some or applying some levels adjustment layer selecting the subject right click uh, on this button to go to levels adjustment layer and now we'll be playing with the slider let's click it to our subject layer let's add a hue and saturation layer Okay, here I want a selective hue and hue um, or saturation should be down. I want it, the shirt to be the red. So what we will do is we will select the layer mask of the hue saturation layer and selecting the brush tool foreground color is white we will paint over it. Sorry background color, uh, the foreground color should be black and now we will paint over it. Adjust your brush size according to your need. And now what we'll do is we'll add one shadow in a similar way as we have added our text layer. So for that what we'll do is we'll select the subject and make a duplicate of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J and go to transform to by clicking on Command T. Let's flip it. Don't worry about the color. We will be holding down the shift key. Just drag it. This is the subject copy. Let's bring it to the top. And we will rename it as subject shadow. And let's add some adjustment layers. First, we go to view and saturation. Let's first flip it to the shadow layer. Saturation minus 100 lightness to minus 100 and now once again we will select and press command T to go to transform tool right click on the shadow and go to perspective once again and now we will drag it holding this anchor point and now let's add some uh, blur effect to this one so select the layer, once again go to filter and version blur, hit ok when I am satisfied. If you want, you can also play with the opacity slider. And now we are left with just one more step that is adding few lines as a message because I want my every poster to have some message. So let's add it in the next section. Let's zoom in a little bit and selecting the text layer, 
let's create a layer mask and now we go to our brush tool selecting the hard round brush foreground color is black let's adjust the brush by pressing the second bracket keys and let's go to rectangular marquee tool and make a selection like that and now let's go back to the brush tool and paint now let's add some guide we will be adding our text that is two three lines over here and now let's make the path for the paragraph so let's select the pen tool and make sure path is selected and holding down the shift key let's click on the intersection to create the anchor points click on the text tool when the cursor changes just click and I have already written my text over here that is a quotation from Swami Vivekananda I will be pasting it here and now let's rotate it from here and now rotate the whole selection now if you want you can remove the guides we will be creating a duplicate layer of the text paragraph layer by pressing command J and double click to edit I'll be making it italics and place it where we want it. And now our poster for today is complete. Hope you like the poster as well as the process of making it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. And if you have any suggestions on how I can make your whole experience better, feel free to leave some comments in the box. I will definitely try to implement and improve. And please subscribe to the channel for more such videos. I'll be back with a new poster. Till then, goodbye, take care and keep creating.